it's that time of the month again and let me tell you I was so excited about this last month I almost ordered it again under another name <laughs> this way I had 20 instead of 10 pens but um this came a couple of days ago oh, no. and um figured I'd open it again on video so let's see what I got this month and you'll see I haven't opened it at all yet oh bad scissors You never have scissors when you need them. Of course, the pair that I grab is really bad. Alright, let's see. Really? This does not want to open for me. Alright, time to get aggressive. Okay. I see toys! Ow! Okay, so. Now we gotta go open. And let's see what we got this month. Throw that on the side. And again, comes in a zipper plastic case here. Um, so that'll, I don't know if it'll come in handy or not for me because I don't really use 8.5 by 11 binders, but um, if anything, my daughter could probably use another two or three um, of these. So let's see. So let's see, we've got our 10 markers. Yeah. So, I have not looked at these yet. Obviously, you saw me opening the package, so I'm just going to kind of go one by one and see what I've got. So, I got another one of these um, Marvy brush pens. Um, these are a little harder to use because they tend to um, bleed um, through paper. So... It's okay my sketchbook but um, like on the paper that I would normally use for my I do bullet journaling um, it would kind of be that way so I like that there's different colors it seems this month um, so that's one and then I've got another uh, Prismacolor Premier marker this is a fine line marker, which actually I'm excited. Oh, wow, that's really fine. Um, let me figure out where my camera is. Um, but it's a lot finer than I've used in the past, and I've been wanting to use a fine line marker. So, um, yeah, that's super fine. You can kind of see that. And then I've got... It's like a dual point creative zen coloring marker so you've got your fine end oh wow that's super fine and super light and then you've got um, your marker end bright bright yellow you can barely see the color don't know how much use I'll get out of that um, Windsor Newton pigment marker um, I've seen these at Hobby Lobby and again it's one of those that bleed through pages a lot. And this is actually the marker. So you've got your um, marker end. And then you've got your kind of chiseled um, pointed end there as well, depending on what kind of you want to use for. What kind of art, what kind of writing and such. So, and that's in like a gray. And then another one of these Marvies in like a pink and last month I got orange so definitely different colors I like the brush on this the only thing I don't like is that it bleeds through my pages so easily um, in a American Crafts never heard of this marker um, it's another brush marker let's see very stiff compared to um, most markers that I've used, but you can definitely feel and see that it's got a brush tip on there. Um, you can see it there. As far as seeing the kind of pushes down a little bit, but try and get the point there. Not a whole lot of uh, give on it. So just to kind of compare, you know, that 
and then you got the Marvy, which is obviously kind of just completely bends in half. Um, okay, so this is a Stabilo, um, another kind of basic marker tip there. And it's a gray. Oh, I like the way that writes. Very smooth. Um, not sure if it would bleed through my pages or not. Sketchbook paper. This is kind of a multimedia sketchbook, so I know it's not going to bleed through this. Um, and we've got another one of these. I got one of these last month, too. Um, distress marker. Um, Tim Holtz distress marker. Again, it's got the fine point end there. And then you've got your brush tip end here. Again, it's much stiffer um, than some of the other brands that I've used, but still um, useful. Um, I've got a Micron 01, and this is a black. So another fine point marker these I'll always be able to use for any number of things and I bring them with me all the time and then finally I got another jelly roll and honestly I didn't use this too much this is probably gonna be more fun for my daughter to use it's kind of a uh, it's glitter so it's fun for sure um I just haven't really I think if I get back into it that okay, I'll be able to use it a lot more but That'll be it, and I uh, hope you like it, and if you want to see more, just let me know, and hopefully I'll post some pictures of stuff that I do with this. I think I said the same thing last month, and I really haven't had such a busy month I haven't had the chance to do anything, um, but we will see. Have a good one.